I've got family friends that have done foster care and yeah, I thought it'd be something good to actually do. And I'm a teacher myself and I love working with kids and we have lots of really yeah. fond memories of our parents and places they took us and I just really wanted to make that place for other kids to experience as well. We don't have our own kids but we figured at this point in our life, um, while we have the capacity to be foster carers, why not do it? Um, and now I've got three beautiful foster kids with us. The support networks was something that really surprised me. I think being able to call on anyone at any time of the day just reinforces that foster caring isn't as scary as yeah. perhaps we thought it was going to be. We um, have an awesome relationship with our case manager. We text back and forth throughout the week. She pops in to visit. I think we're looking after siblings. I think that's the most rewarding thing we found. I think it's the thought of them being separated is probably something that tugs at our heartstrings a bit more to think that they wouldn't have that opportunity to be able to grow as a family group. The kids in our care were actually in separate placements beforehand. Um, two were with one carer and one was another carer um, and they weren't coping particularly well so that was why um, the agency sought out a place where they could all be together. Seeing the older one boss the other one but then the youngest one standing up for himself and saying no you can't do that or I can't mm, boss around that's, that's yeah the most amazing part of it is actually see them grow together and share those experiences together as well. When you're dealing with children who have been through tough things in life I think it's natural that there are challenges um, and I think part of being foster carers is learning that that's sometimes their way of just expressing their emotions you know we've we've had kids in in our lives who um, don't necessarily know how to process anger and how to process sadness and so just being being able to walk them through that and being able to say that it's okay sometimes to, to be upset it's okay to to be frustrated and there's there's healthy ways to, to play that out I think the thing that we love most about being carers is actually seeing them grow and see their own personalities now as well. Um, seeing kids do things they couldn't do before. Seeing our little one, he knows how to dress himself now and feed himself and all those sorts of things that are such important skills that could have been really overlooked. They actually see them get confidence in life, so be able to challenge themselves to do something new and seeing the little one go down a bike ramp and be scared the first time and then run straight back up and go down and yeah. get down the ramp again. In terms of people thinking about becoming foster carers, I would say give it a go. Um, I think even if you only ended up caring for one child, I just think the difference that you can make in that kid's life is just worth far more, um, you know, than, than anything you have to lose. You're not jumping in by yourself. There is a lot of support and a lot of people there to help you and to be able to guide you through the whole process. I think kids, all they really need at the end of the day is a roof over their head, they need a warm bed and they need a meal and they need someone to love them. Um, and if you can provide that, then you're just going to make a world of difference in their life. Yeah. Open your heart. Open your home. Become a foster carer.